What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's major topic is going to be involving the season six operator bundles as well as the release dates that we have for all of them. So for those of you guys who are interested in any of the crossover collaborations, make sure to stay tuned for the video while we go over the dates and everything you need to know about them. I did also post a video earlier today going over the brand new season six battle pass, the rewards and everything that's available in the battle pass, as well as the trailer that we ended up receiving. So if you did miss that video, make sure you check it out. And just a reminder, the season is dropping tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. The Battle Pass will go live. For those of you guys on PlayStation, you usually get the update a little bit earlier than the rest of us, so you will be able to pre-download it a couple hours in advance, so that way you can prepare. Knowing how it was with the Season 5 Reloaded update, that thing was like 50, 60 gigabytes, so this one might be a massive update as well, who knows? But the rest of us are gonna have this update available to us as soon as the update itself goes live, which is gonna be at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. An hour before that, we're also gonna be receiving the patch notes, so expect that as well but anyways before we get into today's topic a quick word from our sponsor messy modding store it's a store that provides any and all call of duty services they can even get you exclusive operators and bundles such as the nuke operator they also unlock all the cosmetics in a legitimate way without using unlock tools or mods just check out messy modding the link will be down in the description let's go ahead and talk about the upcoming operator bundle so the majority of these bundles are going to be crossover related but there's also going to be a total of 10 of them and we also have the release dates for every single one of them as well as a photo and a description showcasing what each bundle has. I'm most likely going to make an updated version of this once the update actually rolls out and we have in-game showcases of these operator skins. But for now, let's go ahead, let's get into it. The very first operator bundle with a release date of October 3rd is going to be the Tracer Pack Helsing Operator Bundle, which is going to be bringing in the Operator Alucard. So the description here says, Deploy as Alucard the Helsing Organization's most powerful weapon against supernatural forces. Lay your enemies low with the animated Helsing Arms SMG, Weapon Blueprint, plus the Jackal and Castle Handgun Weapon Blueprints, which he's holding one of the Weapon Blueprints here in the photo, all featuring Red Watcher Tracers, and the third eye death effect. Now they don't showcase any of these effects. And then they said eliminate enemies instantly using the fate and consequence finishing move and mark your position on the field with the Helsing ride vehicle skin. Represent your honored role as a vampire slayer with the Helsing weapon charm, Helsing family sticker, vampire eye loading screen, and Hell's Gate arrested emblem. So this is everything that the bundle has to offer. As I mentioned, I will have a photo to showcase all that once the update actually rolls out and we get that information. But the next bundle that we have is going to be releasing on October 9th, so a couple days later, and that is going to be the Tracer Pack Doom. The description for it says, bring legendary gaming to Call of Duty with the Protoon Super Shotgun featuring the vintage tracers and pixel spray death effect alongside the chainsaw melee weapon blueprint also featuring the pixel spray death effect both weapons are reminiscent of the classic doom graphics and get bloodier as you get more eliminations which indicate that these weapon blueprints are animated they said fight like hell by adding the dooms guy gun screen doom weapon charm and kaka demon and slayer stickers to your weapon equip the doom loading screen and take your pick between the gibbs emblem and the animated healthy mug emblem the animated lost soul emblem or the animated POV emblem. So this is everything that the bundle will have. The unfortunate thing is it does not come with an operator, so Doom Guy is not gonna be available in this bundle. The next thing that we have, releasing on October 15th, which is six days later, so most likely there's gonna be something in between there that's probably not a crossover related type of item, but that is gonna be Lilith, and that is gonna be from the Diablo crossover. So with Lilith, this is what she looks like. The Burning Hells arrive in time for the haunting. Deploy as the Daughter of Hatred and Creature of Sanctuary. This bundle offers the Lilith Operator skin along with the Blood Petal Assault Rifle and Eternal Conflict SMG Weapon Blueprint featuring Blood Red Tracers and the Ascension Death Effect. Eliminate enemies from behind using the Daughter of Hatred finishing move. Ride in Hellish style with the Wretched Death Vehicle skin and show your allegiance with the Altar of Lilith Weapon Charm and Lilith's Call Sticker. Lilith's throne loading screen and summon Lilith emblem. So this is everything that the bundle will come in with. The unfortunate thing is they don't tell us which weapons these tracer packs are going to be for. Majority of them are probably going to be for the new weapons. That's how they usually do these types of updates. But three days later on October 17th, we're going to be receiving the Skeletor tracer pack operator bundle. It says become the true overlord of evil with the Skeletor bundle featuring three versions of the Skeletor operator skin alongside the Havoc SMG, the Gray Skull Key LMG Weapon Blueprints, featuring a shocking purple tracer and last lab death effect, and when they don't see you coming, activate the Skeletor's Malice finishing move, navigate difficult terrain with the War Sled Vehicle skin, equip the Ram Skull Shape Havoc Staff Weapon Charm, and get the Skeletor sticker, 
Lord Skeletor loading screen and Overlord of Evil Emblem for your player profile. So out of all these bundles, this seems to be the only one that's going to get multiple operator styles for the Skeletor outfit. But the next bundle we have is going to be releasing on the 19th. This is not a crossover bundle, but this one is called the Paranormal Investigator Pack. And that's going to be bring the supernatural to justice with the Investigator Operator skin. Fight back evil with two animated weapon blueprints, the case file, assault rifle, and the paranormalist toolkit, sniper rifle. They say outfit your weapons with the ghost tracker gun screen and the sinister signal weapon charm. And then they also say show who you work for by using the fringe PI sticker to light up your loading screen with ghastly energies and take a trip through classical horror villains using the animated phenomena emblem. Following that one, releasing on the 20th, which is just the following day after that, is going to be the Pumpkin Pro Pack. So, unfortunately, this is not going to be a free reward. It's actually going to be a Pro Pack, and this is going to be coming in with Tracer Pack Pumpkin Patch. So, I believe this might be one of the first times we've seen a Pro Pack have a Tracer effect on it. But this is going to cost you $19.99 USD. Along with it, you're going to get the Pumpkin Patch Operator, which looks like this. He's going to come in with a Trick SMG, a Tree LMG Weapon Blueprint, which you see in the photo. The Operator is called Carver. Along with that, there's going to be the Hollow Rider Vehicle Skin, Praise the Jack-O-Lantern with Pumpkin Lantern Weapon Charm, Costume Party Loading Screen, and the Flaming Jackals Emblem. And on top of all this, there's going to be an additional DMZ slot and 15 minute ensure cooldown on the weapon blueprints. But the most important thing in this bundle is it includes 2400 COD points. So if you plan on purchasing Lilith, you plan on purchasing any of the operators that I've listed here, instead of purchasing the COD points, get this instead. You'll get the same amount of COD points for $20. And you'll get this new tracer pack and operator, which will give you a lot more for that same $20. But the next thing that we have is going to be releasing on October 23rd, three days later. That is going to be the Ash Operator Bundle from Evil Dead 2. This is what it looks like. It says the former supermarket clerk turned demon hunter arrives to battle the underworld entity spewing forth from the Hellmouth. Take on the role of humanity's champion against evil with the Ash Operator skin. Paired with the classic boomstick shotgun and groovy assault rifle weapon blueprints, they get bloodier as you land more eliminations. Up close, make them dance using the boomstick boogie finishing move. Show them you mean business with the chainsaw weapon charm, dead eyed sticker, evil dead 2 loading screen, and evil dead emblem. And these are the photos that we have of this operator so far. But the next one releasing on October 26th is also going to be three days after that. This is going to be the next Diablo bundle, Tracer Pack Inarius Operator Bundle. And it says the Fallen Archangel Inarius appears fully armed in an iconic operator skin paired with the Protoon Fallen Angel SMG Heaven's War Sniper Rifle Weapon Blueprint for close quarter flank attacks. Activate the Inarius Impaling Finishing Move, available on October 26th. Patrol the skies with the Heaven's Castaway Vehicle Skin and give honor to the Prophet by equipping the Cathedral of Light Weapon Charm, Rogue Agent Sticker, Archangel Loading Screen, and World Father Emblem. The next bundle that we have is actually going to be releasing on September 27th, which is going to be tomorrow, the day of the update. This is going to be Tracer Pack Witchcraft. And this one is just it showcases this Witch Operator outfit. There's a Pro Toon Spellcaster Sniper Rifle. I have the new handgun weapon blueprint. Hex your foes with the death summons finishing move, which is going to be a new finishing move. Track your battle proficiency with the witch's tracker gun screen. I also say leave evidence of your presence by attaching the witch charm weapon charm and the rituals emblem. This bundle also features an additional active slot in DMZ and 15 minute insured weapon cooldown on both weapon blueprints. So this is going to release as soon as the update goes live. You'll see this bundle in the store. Going on to the next one that we have. This one is going to be releasing on October 29th. And that is going to be Tracer Pack Grim Tidings available on October 19th, serve the afterlife by gathering and preparing souls for the underworld. Don the look of a demon hunter with the death's right hand operator skin for ghosts, as well as the reaper theme pro tune soul separator assault rifle, grave danger shotgun, and reap and sow melee weapon blueprints. Execute the reaping souls finishing move for an instant takedown. So it's a new finishing move. It also comes in with a gun screen that has a lot of talking effects and sounds on it. It also comes in with three different weapon blueprints. And the bundle also features dog theme, best friend, battle buddy, ready to reap weapon charm and reap sticker, grinning grim loading screen, slice of death emblem for DMZ. It also has active duty slot and 15 minute of insured weapon cooldown. But these are all the bundles that we have and the release dates that we have for them that have been revealed to us so far by Call of Duty. There's definitely going to be even more bundles that are going to be coming in. As you notice from the date, some of them had like six to seven day gaps. So in between them, there might be other bundles that are going to be coming in that haven't been revealed yet. So I'll be making a video and talking about that. But the majority of the items that we're expecting to be free, such as like the pumpkin skin or the raven skin, 
those are actually going to be bundles. So the only one left that could potentially be a free skin is that zombie operator outfit. And we haven't seen that yet so far as one of these bundles. So there is a small chance that that could be a free operator. But anyways, what are your thoughts and opinions on these operator bundles? Are you going to be copying any of them? But anyways, it's been your boy Chizzle, And hopefully I'll be seeing you guys back on the channel again. Peace.